open formats versus standardized formats. I just did a couple of videos talking about ALAC, the Apple Audio Codec, and WebM, the new Google web video format. But those are open formats versus standardized formats like H.264 and MP3. H.264 and MP3, MP3 stands for MPEG 2 Layer 3, but anyway, are both standardized formats. Standardized formats means that they went through a review committee that was made up of several organizations and it was discussed what the best way to handle a number of the problems that the codec or format solve versus an open format that is simply a documented version of a format that has been made available usually by a single organization. When you put something through a standards committee, because it's a committee making the decisions, a lot more people have a say in what the final outcome is. While some people argue that because it's done by committee that there's too many cooks in the cooking and that you don't end up with a good result because you've made all of these compromises to accommodate everybody. But the truth is that when you're going through a standards body, you have a lot of people reviewing the code and the reference format to say, is what was stated here ambiguous? So if, if I read this one way, I get this result. And if I read this other way, I get this other result. And that happens a lot in open formats. And WebM is riddled with them, where you can follow the letter of what is said in the codec and come up with a very different result than what their reference code would do. And in some cases, the only thing that's documented in the WebM format is reference code that says, your output should be the same as the following C function. Well, that's not a good way to write a format document so that you can say, this is the right thing to do. Looking at somebody's code and saying, eh, this looks like it's doing what I think it's doing is very different than saying, this is what's being done. Here was the thought process behind it. And here are where potential efficiencies may be gained later. And that's what a standards body really does. Also, a standards body weighs in when later somebody has come up with an edge case that breaks the standard. So you can say, hey, we've done this thing, but it turns out that if you do this, 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 and this, that it's too computationally intense, nobody can play it back. Was that the intention? Or should there be limits written into the standard so that we can say, you can never use more than X number of motion vectors per frame or encoding a data rate higher than Y or these are the limitations of if you're going to use X number of this, you can only use Y number of this and you can only use Z number of this. So a standards body keeps the format alive over time as well as just saying this is what the format looks like. Standardized bodies also help with the licensing. MPEG-LA is a licensing body in addition to the being the standards body. So they have determined this part of the format pays a royalty to Kodak, and this part of the, the format pays a royalty to Sony. And based on your implementation of the standard, they can tell you who you should pay and how much. Or you can simply pay MPEG-LA, and they'll dole out the money on your behalf. Some people would say, well, you know, WebM, we, it's free. We don't have to pay anybody. Well, the truth is that being a macro block based video compression format, you're going to have to pay somebody. They, uh, onto that formerly owned WebM before Google acquired it, didn't have all of the patents that would have been necessary in order to make video codecs and therefore would have had licensing requirements. And at some point that's going to bite Google, WebM, anybody who adopted it on their collective butts. So MPEG LA is a licensing body. They work with standards. Companies like Adobe have released the open formats PDF. Apple has released the open format ALAC, but those are single contributors with 
a documented format that you can either license or apply you know, directly from the code, depending on what their licensing agreement is. Whereas standards bodies generally work together and you license it from a consortium like MPEG-LA.